We always think it won't happen to me, but as the simulation shows, <laughs> it only takes seconds to become the victim of a carjacking. You have a lot of opportunities to do things right and to keep yourself from being a victim. Security expert Moody Andrews has spent more than 25 years in law enforcement and security and took me through several carjacking scenarios to try to avoid becoming a victim. He says if confronted, simply give up the car. All right, this is how it's done. You see her back was turned. She wasn't looking around. She was trying to figure out where were her keys. He says one of the biggest mistakes people make besides not being aware of their surroundings is sitting distracted in your car with the doors unlocked. Always do it in a situation where people are constantly moving and coming around you. That's the best way to do it. Like near a police station or in a parking lot of a fast food restaurant. So far this year in Chicago, vehicular hijackings have almost doubled in number for the same time last year. And carjackings increased over 100% from 2019 to 2020. Andrews says another costly mistake is not leaving yourself an escape route. If you can see the back wheels of the car, then you're too close. I say keep a half a car distance in front of you. Some carjackers have even been known to fake an accident to approach you and steal your car. So fast. Don't stop. Try to get the license plate and head to the nearest police station. And while Andrews cautions that there is no one size fits all when it comes to avoiding being a victim of crime, he says being prepared for trouble is a good start. Right now, you need everything you possibly can to keep yourself safe. Not your possession, but to keep yourself safe. Evelyn Holmes, ABC7 Eyewitness News.